tool for the mind. And um, uh, what if we could help for people who are fighting each day with their disability? Or what if the mute could speak, the cripple could move? And this problem would be, the, would be the part of your life. Imagine that you're born as a mute people person, and uh, your life will be limited. So these problems could be solved with the power of our Taos, and there's a solution. A multifunctional tool for the mind, five functions and a video game controller, five solutions with a price that is reachable for everyone. There is a computer controller for cursor and keyboard, a robot, uh, in the future hopefully will be a wheelchair, and uh, Prost has his arm and high voltage device control, and uh, there is a communication function, and uh, all of these can be controlled by our brain activity. And the idea came from a childhood dream, when well, I was a big fan of science fiction movies, and uh, I also wanted to help on others, because with device we can do it. But what are brain waves? Um, so right now, in our brains, uh, neurons are communicating with each other with low on our zero and high, like one signals, and uh, these uh, neurons have a frequency that we call pattern, and uh, this is the idea, and hopefully, you now if you're enjoying my presentation, you have a similar brainwave pattern to mine. And um, alpha and beta brainwaves can be controlled consciously. So, uh, with an EEG algorithm, I uh, converted the analog signal to digital, and uh, this is. Um, usable for the Arduino microcontroller. Uh, how about 17 years old started to deal with neuroscience? Well, everything started with Legos more than 15 years ago, and uh, I wanted to use the force in real life, and uh, the only way to make my dream come true was science. So, this technology now is reachable for everyone, and I wanted to make it a bit more, more popular. How it works. The uh, headset measures the EEG signals on the forehead and uh, then forwards the data to the main server that analyzes the signals and depending on the five function switches, uh, the user can control a function based on his brain waves. Um, the headset looks somehow like this and it's wrote to me measure the continuously modified brain waves and uh, can measure the following signals. A focus value from 0 to 100 increases by focusing on something, and uh, meditation value also on a scale from 1 to 100 and increases by meditating. Of course, uh, you don't need to go down to Zen state or something like that, just relax a little bit, and uh, detects powerful blinking. The main server's role is to analyze the incoming data and uh, these five switches help to uh, choose the function and uh, there's also a web server that uh, analyze the EEG data in cloud and uh, the LCD displays in real time the um, values of the user and the built-in intelligence conforms to the user's brain in less than five minutes. The lamp switcher function, that's a basic home automation function, and can, con can control high voltage devices like a lamp, and if the user focuses, uh, turns on a relay, and if meditates, turns off, then uh, can be connected to anything up to 2300 watts. Uh, the cursor controller is, uh, can control the cars are on the personal computer, but uh, there is a lack of enough signals for all four directions, so I had a new solution. If the user focuses, uh, induces the cursor to move right by 10 pixels. If the user meditates, the cursor move, move up by 10 pixels, and uh, 
if the user makes a powerful blink like this, then makes a double click. The robot controller is the first prototype of the wheelchair and uh, controls an RC model robot wirelessly with, with brain activity. It's able to the following motion, can move forward if the user blinks and if you if blinks again then stops. Uh, focusing makes the robot move right and uh, meditation makes, move, makes it move left. There's an artificial arm that uh, role is to help for people who are uh, who have a damaged arm and uh, for focusing can grab something and uh, releases the object on losing focus. Um, the communication function uh, allows the user to answer with no or yes and uh, if the user focuses then the double colored LED will switch to red color. In the example I asked myself that do we live on planet Mars and the answer is of course no. Um, of course we can answer it yes if we meditate. The data logger web server gives a feedback in real time for the user, makes analyzing and statistics based on brain waves, then uh, uh, helps the user to confirm to the device with advices, dips place the EEG data in real time with an, in a password protected personal account and uh, the user can check back all the EEG data according to date and time. Uh, the video game controller, it's the um, most interesting function I think. It is very easy to use, can be controlled just like the robot, but uh, imitates Wii ASD buttons on a computer. Uh, it's very inexpensive to produce and uh, in the world of virtual reality headsets it's a very appropriate entertainment tool and it, during my experience I realized that it is a uh, very amusing for all ages. The biggest opportunity is why does it work developing? Uh, only our creativity can set limits to what we can achieve with the help of uh, these EEG uh, sensors. The price would be reasonable for everyone and it is very easy to use. The operation of the device is trackable online on the LCD and give us a new chance for everyone who born or live with a disability and the uh, safest technology nowadays so these dry EEG technologies is, uh, are user friendly and uh, doesn't need to uh, spend a lot of money to them the video game controller uh, would be only two thousand dollars and a personalized device example a communication uh, function for a patient who cannot speak because some regions would cost uh, seven hundred dollars or less. Uh, first of all I would like to get investors and uh, then make a perfect prototype that is much more user friendly than this one and uh, uh, I would like to create a, not a perfect video game controller because who wouldn't like to play video games with his mind in a virtual world and um, after this I would like to design personalized devices for people who live with disability and thank you for your attention